Hi guys, I want to talk about combat with Jack in my Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, specifically the ranged combat, the long range combat when Jack is sniping. And I'm doing this because of a discussion that was started on my last video where Jack essentially slaughtered a bunch of Legion at range by taking one of them out and then when all of his buddies came wandering over stupidly, he just shot them all. The, the problem is, is it's very hard to approach that situation any other way beyond just saying, Oh, there's Legion, I'm going to run in and kill them all in, in an act of abject stupidity. And as you know, with the mods I've got installed, that would get me killed. I don't seem to have that problem when I'm using closer ranged weapons, even the rifle, to be honest, even the rifle. Because, of course, I don't really get that many opportunities to do, say, snipe shots with this weapon. It, it's pretty good. I could shoot someone over there, I suppose. But if you look at the sway, it's not going to be easy. I'm going to need to be probably a tiny bit closer to shoot them, maybe there. And I think I'll get spotted at that range. The problem comes when I use this weapon, because, of course, I can pick things off at very long range. And for some reason, the AI acts completely moronic. Basically, the AI does the equivalent of, let's just say there was a sniper up there right now. He was up there, hiding behind that rock, and he popped out, and he killed Russell. And the AI would then wander around going, Oh, look, Russell's died. Who did that? It's someone around here, which is insane. You would have heard the sniper shot. Um, even if you didn't, even if you didn't, you'd get an idea of which way the bullet came from, probably by which way his brains were splayed, and you'd go running off, find some cover, and then find the enemy. And then you'd probably either start trying to snipe him back, or rushing the enemy back. You certainly wouldn't be hanging around here waiting to be shot. Unfortunately... The AI in this game does exactly that, and it does cause some unrealistically silly fights. Therefore, I don't want to use scoped weapons anymore with Jack. I actually, I mean, Jack's not into scoped weapons that much anyway. He much prefers his cowboy weapons, for example, his medicine stick, lever action rifle. Um, but of course, the scope weapons are useful, so how am I going to justify not taking a scoped weapon with me? Pretty simple. I'm going to start approaching weapon use in Fallout New Vegas a little more realistically. I'm going to only start carrying weapons that are reasonable to carry on a single man. I'm going to limit myself to one rifle. To one large weapon, one large weapon. So that could be a rifle, it could be a rocket launch, it could be anything. One large rifle. I'm also going to have uh, one medium weapon. And by medium, I'm talking submachine gun, or in this case, sawn off shotgun or lever action shotgun. Something that's reasonably small, but not, not as small as, I say, a pistol. And then three handguns. And I chose three because I figured I could put one in my belt and two on my hips. Is what I was thinking. That and the fact that I have three pistols that I happen to rather like. So, um, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, I do realise that that's quite realistic, actually. That's what's well, more realistic than being able to use millions. I'm still probably going to have 3,000 weapons and sets of power armour in my magic backpack because, let's face it, that's what you do in Fallen of Vegas. You loot 200 rifles and you go and sell them to the gun runners. That's how you do trade. Um, it would probably be a lot more realistic if, if you couldn't actually carry those items like that. You know, power armour you had to wear. But it's a, it's a role-playing game. We tend not to question things like that. And I don't want to start getting completely ridiculous at this stage of this game. But the way I'm going to do this is... If it's in my backpack, say I've got the submachine gun, it's in my backpack, it's not available during combat. If I'm in a fight, I can't take out my 12mm um, submachine gun unless I have it hotkeyed. You never see me do that anyway. I always use hotkeyed weapons. And I will only hotkey three pistols, one medium weapon, one large weapon. Oh, and maybe one melee weapon. If it's a small one. If it's a small one, if it's a hatchet, 
but I won't do it if it's um, you know a double-handed bumper sword or something stupid. That classifies as a large weapon. I'll use some common sense. Basically, my hotkeyed weapons are weapons I have on my body. It would actually be really nice if there was a mod that allowed me to see which weapons I had hotkeyed. So, for example, it would have this on my back, even if I had my uh, shotgun selected. And, and, you know, if I had my shotgun, it would be on, say, crossed. Wouldn't it be cool if you could see this and this on my back crossed? And you could see all of the pistols. One on either hip and one in the belt or something. How cool would that look? Then you'd begin to think, you know what, you can't have any more weapons anyway. You'd look insane. You'd look ridiculous. So that's what it's going to be. Reasonable weapons, those are the weapons that I will have access to in combat. Everything else will be in my magic backpack and I won't be using. So if for some strange reason I ever do a mission where I know I'm going to need a scope, I am either going to have to go and get my scoped weapon or... I will take a scope for the medicine stick, go in and put a medicine stick scope on this thing and then do whatever I've got to do. But I won't be doing that mid-combat um, and of course I won't do it very often because it will mean I don't have this weapon iron sighted. And honestly, this weapon with iron sights is devastatingly effective. It is probably my most powerful weapon. It is certainly the most versatile. It can be used at close range. Do it. it See what happens. You die, mate. Seriously, this thing's a monster. Um, you know, it's good at close range, it's good at medium range, and it's even good at long-ish range. I can't imagine ever wanting a scope on this thing. It's why I've never put a scope on it. And I will no longer have one of these with me. Hopefully that will make the combat a little more interesting. It will, it will avoid those long-range combats that are a little annoying to watch. Of course, the short the short range combat has not been a problem. Every time I get into short range or medium range combat, it's panic stations. With the mods I've got installed, I can die in two hits. I take one hit and I'm immediately spamming stim packs and running and screaming. It's all very exciting. This is the one we needed to fix, the very long range combat, and I think that is probably the best way to do it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think that is a good idea. Um, and if you've got any better suggestions, I'm, I'm open to them. But I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. I think it'll feel more realistic. It'll make the combat more entertaining. And all around, I'm seeing no downsides to it beyond... It's actually going to make some really tough fights. It really will. I mean, imagine, imagine some of the fights against things like Death Claws without a scoped weapon. Those, from now on, I'm really going to have to set minds up, take a shot, and then run like a maniac, because I'm not going to get away with it, with this rifle. As powerful as this rifle is, it's not going to be allowing me to do that. Anyway, thank you for listening, and I look forward to your feedback down below. And a big thank you to the, the guys that um, started this conversation. I know some people felt that they were being a little too critical, but I actually don't think so. I actually don't think so. I, I think they were saying, essentially, that fight was boring. You need, you, you know, don't do it. Um, and honestly, I think they're right. I do think they're right. So thank you for that. You've inspired me to, I th you know, to think of a way to make things a little more fun. Okay, thank you for listening, and I will see you on the next episode.